Where were you right now? Right now? I want to buy something. <coughs> what? I don't have any money. No, but I need to buy food. Well, let's go then. <coughs> okay. Hi YouTubers, this is Gil and today on this video I'm going to show you this car. It's a uh, 1984 Mercury Marquis broom model. This car has a um, 3.8 liter V6 electronic fuel injection and it had the power windows and uh and door lock they had power door locks as well but it only it only does the the driver and the passenger door it doesn't do anything with these doors so this is the interior of this car everything is all original as far as i could see i had this car for four years and although i mean this is not the same one apparently but this is exactly like the car that um that my mom had back in 1986 it was this it was a white one that she had like this one but it was a cheaper one it was not as well equipped as this one is but anyway um, so this car see everything is all original and the mileage is 63 around 63 and that's how many miles that my mom's car had when she bought that car and it has a remote trunk i mean but, but the ignition has to be on or the key has to be in there for it to work so this is the trunk area very clean and this is the uh spare tire that it had uh, the donut tires and all the instructions and stuff <laughs> With these trunks, you know, like with these cars, you have to be careful not to lock the keys in the trunk because if you did, you know, you cannot get in there because these seats don't fold down like most of today's cars do these days. See, the interior is a burgundy. We don't see too many cars like this anymore. I mean, there's not a lot of that. I don't think they make a burgundy interior anymore. They don't make those cars anymore, like with burgundy interior. I think they stopped in the 80s somewhere. So this is the other side of the car. So, I mean, I could tell you one thing though. Like the secret of making this car look really nice and clean. Or I, I, one of the secrets that I know of that I always knew for a long time and and making the car looks really really nice every time it's to clean these it's always to clean all the door jam areas clean them like detail clean them you know like every detail of it you clean it with the damp cloth and you put armor all or whatever you know like that's i mean like if you could do this if you clean all the door jams even on the bottom of the door if you could do it everywhere i mean your car can look really, really nice and not even realize it. Not even realize that it's looking really nice. And then if you wonder why, a lot of times you want you wash your car really good and then you wonder why it just doesn't seem to have that clean car that you want it. It's because of this, you know. If you clean all these, all the details, you won't see all the crud and then the car will look really nice. I mean, it'll look it'll look like it'll look like a new car when when you when you put some dedication on it and then even like things like over here too like this is the other example 
like cleaning in there and then even like cleaning the wheel wells too even though these are places that you don't ever need to wash but if you want the car look to look really nice you got to do the details that's why they call it a car detail shop you know well anyway so this car i mean i had it for four years and i, I really love the car i love the ride i love how smooth it is i mean that's one thing i always liked about these cars you know like these family sedans and then they they have a really nice soft ride and that's what i like on this car the tires on these cars are originally this one well the original size for for this car it's a 185 75 14 inch but of course you know people get well remember remember the 14 inches are kind of like um standard on the mid-sized cars you know like this is actually considered a mid-sized car in the 80s well like this was a mid-sized car and um and then of course like the cars like a chevrolet caprice classic was a full-size car but now i mean today's <coughs> cars and now today's small cars are almost like the size of a mid-sized car like this one is this is my current car or this is my daily driver and it's about a, about as big as this one and cars it seems like they've gone bigger over the years well anyway back to this car so if you remember the wood grain stuff remember all this remember the wood grain this car has that and then it has a cassette player remember these cassette players <laughs> Remember the classic tape players with these two knobs? And it works, and I'll, show, I'll even show you right now. And then remember, while well, we all do this with today's cars, but today is October 2nd, 2018. And this cassette, I'm gonna demo these two cassettes. These cassettes are my original cassettes. I had these since the 80s. Like this one, I had this one since 1987. And this one I had it since 1989 or something like that. And this cassette apparently is the very first cassette that I ever made, ever, for to use in a car, like a, a tape for the car, you know, like. I'm gonna demo one of the cassettes. I'll just demo this one. music yeah well all of these cassettes they they bring back memories for when I had this car you know my mom had this car or she had one just like it in 1986 she bought one of these but it was a cheaper one it, it had the 3.3 liter inline six and it didn't have the power windows but for this car, I mean, for this car, this one, I'm going to show you the engine in this car. So there's the engine. See this engine here. It's a 3.8 liter V6 instead of that 3.3 liter in line and uh, this is a fuel injection engine but it has this it has what we call a um a single point injection system where where it's a single injector in this carburetor like um, part on the car i mean it's like a carburetor it's, it's everything like a carburetor but instead of a a main jet or where the gasoline flows through the main jets or whatever the part exactly is called it has an injector instead it has a little injector instead of a instead of a mitering tube or the 
the part of the car that uh, supplies the gasoline. Instead of one of those, it has an injector in the carburetor. So it's a single point injector. You know, I never heard of that. I never heard of a car like that until I got this one four years ago. I never seen that before. You know, this is something I've never seen until I got this car that day, until I got this car four years ago. So there's more of the other side again. So, uh, yeah, if I remember back in my days, you know, like the white mercury that my mom had, and later on she gave it to me. I have a bunch of videos. I have a bunch of videos about that. And here's the front of the car. Front of it. I mean, like, remember all the chrome stuff? The chrome bumpers? Remember these steel chrome bumpers? Remember all the chrome that they used to put on the cars and then the steel hubcaps? Remember these hubcaps? And then all the chrome around the car? Yeah. So, um, anyway. Um, and then the one thing that's unique about this car is that they have, they have these quarter glass. It has this quarter glass on the front. And today's cars don't even do that. They don't do that in today's cars. And then this car also has what today's cars don't have. It's a, it's a um, lighter, a cigarette lighter. We don't do those. They don't do those in today's cars. Not, not that I even smoke, but I mean. And then remember these uh, instrument clusters, like the, like it has like a, the cluster lights up. The cluster lights up in the background. It's not like the numbers. I mean, it's like the yeah. It only lights up in the background, but the numbers don't light up or anything. It's just a blue background, you know. So I mean, that's. So we're gonna take a ride in this car right now. But first of all, I'm gonna just show you how the engine sounds and everything, how it starts up and. This is the engine. This is my car running. It's an excellent running car right now. For being a 35 year old car, well it is 2018 and it's a 34 year old car. For the age that it is, it's an excellent running car. It's like brand new. This car is like brand new for its age. So we're gonna take a ride right now. Yeah. We'll take a ride right now. One thing no. This car. And then, you know, this works good for when we don't want to use the air conditioner. You know, like this um, quarter glass is really cool. I mean, it blows in air really well, you know, it blows it in really good. But, I mean, it's an excellent runner. So if we all remember these cars, if we all remember this type of car, like back in the 80s. Take our little ride. So do you see the glimpse of our car? Due to the reflection there? <laughs> so anyways. Yeah. 
家辉门窗。家辉门窗三十年。gonna go to the mall right now I'll park it in a place where I could just gonna park it right here it's fine or, I don't know right here it's fine so I'm just gonna turn it off. So lock up the cars, lock up the doors, and everything. So see, so remember, like these cars, I used to have uh, two sets of keys. Like like one for the doors and the, the other one for the ignition. So this is a, a video of my car all around again. At the mall. So. Is it? And so, and when I'm not using the car, this is where I usually have it. This is where I put it. I just leave it in the garage. I don't use the car much, so I only use it for like the fun or weekends or that type of thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out those leather clothes. You be styling, huh? Where's your woman? Huh? Your woman? Somewhere. Somewhere? Anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, we'll see you next week, right? We'll see how you're doing next week. <laughs> hey, do you know what you're doing right there? No. No? This is just a um, goof off time for you? Show me how you masturbate. Ooh. Oh, this guy. This guy's an ugly motherfucker. <laughs>